Hello everyone and welcome to episode 19 of our Fable 2 adventure. In the last episode, we ended up going to the Spire to save the Hero of Will, Garth. And we actually managed to do that pretty well, if I say so myself. But now, here we are at Westcliff because I wanted to do a side quest that we actually need to go ahead and complete already. Remember our little construction friend? Well, he's been busy. And I bring you now to the brand new Westcliff. Instead of bandits, there are now villagers in like actual shops. Uh, I also forgot to mention that with my little outfit, I also went ahead and dyed every color that I liked on it. Uh, I do say it is a pretty dark color scheme for a hero, but it's also a little dark, so there is also that. But our friend Burnham is somewhere over here. Uh, I kind of wonder if these brand new shops will have, Impressive. you know, some brand new clothing for me. Uh, okay, I went the wrong way. I forgot that the marker is trying to take me back to the guild. Well, if it is my old business partner, I never thought I'd see you again. What a wonderful surprise. And you couldn't have come at a better moment. Have you ever seen such a marvelous transformation? No, I haven't. He's enjoying wholesome fun. Not a criminal or a ruffian in sight. All poverty eradicated. And I own it all. Even the Crucible, that grandest and heroic of arenas. Great commentary team they have too. You've probably noticed I've done a fair bit of changing myself. I'm free from the shackles of that ridiculous thesaurus from the temple of business and yodeling. I'm a respectable man now. But enough of that. I have a very healthy sum of gold for you here. Your investment plus ten years of interest and my heartfelt thanks. <laughs> now. It's time I found new pastures, new ventures. The world is my bivalve mollusk. <laughs> Good farewellizations to you. Goodbye, Burnham. It was nice working with them. I'm actually glad to see that he was able to transform this entire bandit civilization. Oh, he even gave us 15,000 for the trouble. What a nice guy. I can't wait to start buying everything here so we can actually rent it back out. I will probably end up doing that behind the scenes though. Just so you guys don't have to watch me go around buying everything. Plus, I do want to do a little bit of shopping. Uh, especially if the clothing shop is somewhere around here. So I went ahead and bought the Brutal Styles level 4. So that way we actually can do another little trick whenever we are fighting. And as you can kind of see behind me, because of our time in the Spire, even the Temple of Life got a upgrade. Like they added walls, see, statues. The temple has prospered greatly during your absence. Without your help, this place would be deserted, and its people dead or scattered. You heard her. This place would have been deserted if we helped the Temple of Shadows. So I guess it's good that we decide to help them. But the quest we are taking on today is called Hobbs Waters, which this person right here will explain. Hey! You look like the sword that goes into caves! Dungeons and uh, whatnot when people ask them to. Uh, you can help me. It's my digs, you see. 
I live in this cosy little cavern. Hardly any dampness at all. But I've been kicked out by a family of hobs. See, I came to the temple for shelter. But if you can kick those creatures out of my cave, well, I can go home. Yeah, I'll ah, take care of that. Yeah, in you go then. Uh, bye. But as he was saying, I guess a bunch of hobs took over his house. So it is my job to go ahead and clear them all out. Well, I found the Hobbs. They don't seem too happy. Uh, they really aren't going to be happy with this level 5 shock either. But it should be able to take care of most or all of them. So let's go ahead and deal with these guys. Uh, ah! Oh, hey! I was supposed to take you down. That was so mean. But most of them went down relatively easy. Uh, let's go ahead and take this guy. Oh. We definitely knocked him out of there. But thanks to the lighting as well, you're able to see my outfit a little better. You know, I have a bunch of grays, reds, blue and black. I think it looks pretty nice. If I could find something better, like, you know, to get a better shirt or gloves, I will definitely upgrade to that. But I guess this is his little cavern I'm supposed to, you know, clear out. Okay, let's go ahead and run on in. And we're just gonna take everything down. Ooh. There's a diary. Nope. Oh, you thought. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and take them out. Hey, don't run away. Oh. I mean, he technically listened. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, there's ten more. I was gonna say, if that was all there was, I'm pretty sure they could have handled that. Uh, but there's ten more. Oh, what do you want me to dig? Hey, no. My dog was telling me something. You interrupted our little, you know, hunting, digging session. So for that, they are gonna feel the wrath of our lightning. After all, it is level 5 lightning. There's not a lot that would be able to withstand that. I think Garth, maybe Hammer, would be the only two to really survive that. Actually, I think Teresa could too, now that I think about it. But who knows? Uh, ah, there you are. There you're not. Uh, can I actually, like, loot everything? We are definitely taking up his diary pages. So, where's these four hobs? Ah, there they are! This will be a piece of cake. See? They really are trying to get at us, but that didn't work out for them. Uh, was that really all? I guess we're just too strong for them. Apparently our dog thinks there's treasure, like, everywhere we walk. I don't know why he keeps thinking that. But, if it helps, then... Oh, that's actually pretty good beef jerky. So, if I run through here... Oh! There was one more. But of course, that was really no issue for a hero like us. Uh, I wonder what's in these diary pages. I would read them, but 
I kind of don't want to because some of the texts can actually be really long. And I don't really like reading the super long ones. Uh, can I jump down? It doesn't look like I can. So we're gonna actually have to take the long way back to... What was his name? Thomas? Tommy? Oh, he's right here. What? What do you mean I was supposed to get eaten? Look, listen. We don't we don't got to do this. You lost your sword. You better stand down. Well, that's one way. Uh, a tavern key or a cavern key. Oh, I guess that means I can come back whenever I want. Hey, free cavern. Well, we completed Tommy's quest and we got a hop leg as a trophy. That's not bad. So I think it's weird to have it, you know, hanging on a wall. But at least we get a type of reward. I think I want to take on another quest, but it is slightly longer than this one. And I don't want to shove every quest in one video, so I think we'll start that in the next one. So if you enjoy this brief little adventure with, you know, Tobby and the Hobbs, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye! bye